If you ever wanted to be a cowboy or a cowgirl, there's still a place that you can go to learn some of the tricks of the trade at the Arizona Cowboy College. Tell me, what is involved with the Arizona Cowboy College? Is it a one-day thing, a one-week thing? Really, it's kind of a lifelong thing. But our class is one day, and we have a three-day, and we have a week-long session. And what kinds of things do you do? We learn how to ride, how to rope a little bit, a little bit about horse safety. Um, basically, whatever you want to learn. Um, learn our country way of life. We learn how to work with cattle, how to run a cow-calf operation. Um, just basically everything we can teach you in a week. Great. And what kind of people show up for a Cowboy College? Anybody and everybody. We have CEOs of big corporations. We have uh, mother, daughter, father, sons, single women, doctors, dentists, anybody. Great. Sign me up. Okay. <laughs> The first order of business was to learn about a horse's body language. When you are around the horses, near the horses, they feed off of what you are feeling. So if you're nervous, they know it. And with prey animals, they don't want to be the leader. They want somebody to say, here's what we're going to do today, let's do it. And if you're not the person that's going to be the leader, you go, oh my god, what's happening? Hold on! They are not going to listen to you and they're going to just run, do whatever. That's when you have horses act up. Okay, horse body language, check. Next up, a roping lesson. So you're going to swing your loop and you're going to throw it out there and you're going to catch the steer like that. Okay. Well, it took quite a few tries, but with Lori's coaching, I was finally able to rope the steer. did it. Oh, perfect. That was good. You got it. Okay. Now we move over here to the moving target. I am getting ready. This is just like being on a real horse. You start swinging your loop. You pull this and you rope him. Okay. I'm sure glad I wasn't practicing on a real steer, but I was beginning to get the hang of this. Okay, we're ready for the saddle. Bring it on in. Maggie, go ahead and hand it. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Now you're going to stand over here. Okay. And you're going to swing it up and set it down on the horse. Oh, that was perfect. Too far forward though. Okay. Needs to be on the pad. Okay. A little bit, a little bit more back. Okay. Just a hair more. Perfect. Okay. Then we want to kind of scoop this up in the gullet there so that we have a little bit of room there for their withers. All right. Okay, go ahead. Now that the horse was saddled, it was time to actually get on it and go for a ride. Very nice. Good. So now you just want the ball of your foot in there, mm -hmm. and you want your heels down and your toes up and out. So you're not holding on with your knees, you're using your calves and your heels. Okay. Relax your hand, put it down, and close it. Close your hand. There you go. We started out slow and picked up to a trot. In the trustworthy hands of these professionals, I have a whole new appreciation for both cowboys and their horses. <laughs> 